Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's yours truly, Ari. And today, 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 I'm back with like my 500 apartment slash house tour. I, listen, I don't know. Y'all already know this is like a, a damn near a weekly thing for me to get a new home every other week. But I don't want to do that all the time. I really genuinely, for a, a little bit of time earlier this year, if y'all seen, I really genuinely loved the home that I had built. But like I already told y'all, I'm no longer like living with that person or whatever so it's gone it is what it is now we're in a new era and your girl has moved to new york city girl okay listen it's new york city on sl in a sense of like i got environments that make it look like i live in new york city so that's what we calling it but there is no actual like new york sim for me to like live in i think you could probably live in wandering in new york or other new yorks that people try to recreate for their own personal uses but i don't think there's like a open public new york sim where people can actually live so sorry if i got y'all hopes up anyways recently you guys i just became a blogger for ansu and y'all already know ansu is literally one of my favorite my favorite homes to get homes from i have pretty much damn near all their houses well now i got them all but before i definitely had a lot of their homes and I just love them. They have this realistic uh, effect to them, to me, I guess, if that makes sense. I love that they have environments. And a lot of y'all always ask me constantly, where do I get my environments from? And I just use an Ansu skybox. Usually I'll raise one of the skyboxes. I'll detach the environment. Well, I'll set it to which environment I want and then detach it and just use that for like if I have another skybox that's not from them or if I just need it the environment for a picture or whatever that's usually what i do but yeah shout out to ansu i really love them make sure y'all go check out their newer homes that just released recently absolutely beautiful and i i did start decorating one of them but then i was like i don't want to live in a house this is a big house and it's just me here so let's live in an apartment so i went back to one of their older apartments or penthouses and today i just want to show you guys the tour of it and what i've done over the last 20 to 48 hours because y'all know it don't take me long to decorate um mostly because i don't be knowing what i'm doing i just throw stuff down and hope for the best so without further ado let's just get into the home tour let's go okay i'm in full screen you guys so we just doing this gameplay style i was gonna try to be aesthetic with it and just like record you know how i usually do but we're just gonna do this gameplay style so this is what it's like well let me start from the damn front door like who does that okay so this is where you'll usually land i have a little teleporter because i do have a plat and then i also have the ground that i like to go down but this is the front door and this is basically where you're gonna walk in sorry if it's a little bit laggy you just gonna have to bear with me first walk in got your little coat hanger umbrella holder whatever i wanted to put more cool stuff here i'm actually not 100 percent done but for now i'm done i decorated pretty much as much as i could and wanted to and i was like i need to make this video so i'm not gonna finish it all for the video but for the most part it is um yeah this is like a little entryway this table i had no intentions of putting a table here but it was here i don't even know who rezzed it out so i think sam did but i'm gonna just keep it i put some casamigos and and whatnot right here it's casamigo some tequila tequila <laughs> tequila listen i'm not a drinker for real i do but i don't i don't really like drinking as much uh but got the drink got some bags and then i got this cute little canvas that says you've got enough on your plate because you do got enough on your plate sweetheart don't i anymore um in this door right here i decided to put the laundry because this is usually where i put the laundry when i do use this home uh so that's what's going on in here laundry girl okay we'll go upstairs in a moment let's go this way so here is like my little uh achievements plaque award area and then i have a keyboard right here as well but we got the best boobs awards because be come on y'all well they they're a little smaller because i made them smaller for a picture but best boobs award um this is not even an award i went to vegas one time on here and this is like a little souvenir i went with tootie so I, I don't know if i made a video I, I think i made a video out of it. if i did just go on my channel and see but yeah then we have here a moon man award even though i don't make no music at all uh i'm not even a singer i'm not a rapper i ain't no songwriter i ain't no producer like what is this about <laughs> uh but i got it it was cute i got it from moon 
mood on Marketplace. And then of course, our manifesting YouTube subscriber plaque that came with DBY. So shout out to them. And then I got this little record plaque acting like I make music or something, but it's cute for the aesthetic. It looks like I'm like a musical artist or something, minus the best boobs plaque or award. But yeah, this is what this area is looking like. And then when we go in here, this is the kitchen. It's kind of, I don't know how to feel about the kitchen right now. I don't, I didn't put that much effort into here. I just wanted to put some stuff down and call it a day. So I also kept the reoccurring theme of like a brick wall in kind of each room. I didn't put it in every room, but I tried to put put some in different parts of the apartment just to make it look like, to me, I feel like New York has like a brick wall. If you have a brick wall in your house or your apartment, it just gives New York to me low key. I don't know y'all, listen, don't listen to me. I don't know. But this is what the kitchen is looking like. Got some cereal, coffee, you know, the stuff that I love to put in here. And then here is like the dining table area. I didn't want to do anything traditional. I thought this was cool. I got this on 60 linden or 60 to 90 linden sale. I got this on that sale. Of course I bought it because it's still cute and it was cheaper than the original price. But yeah, I got this and it's so cute. And then of course I just got some, some food on top because why not? And it's cooking up. It's cooking. You feel it. And that is pretty much my kitchen it's not much going on in here now we are in the living room this is the main space ignore the blind that is still half open right there but this is the living space i guess the living room i got this little tv set thingy on this the weekend sale as well so this is what that's looking like um and then here's like this y'all know i use this couch for every house and i low-key don't feel bad about it like i'm not going to stop using it because it's just so cute and it's modular, so it doesn't have to look like this, but it looks like this for me because I love a sectional. And of course the space is kind of big, so it wouldn't make sense to only have like one little mini part and then the couch would just be half, like it'd be a lot smaller than this. So I just put two of these little longer parts to make it longer. And then, yeah, I just kind of cluttered it up as much as possible. Tried to make it look a little bit more realistic. You know, was doing some laundry, had to iron my clothes. Uh, you know, got the key. This ain't no keys. Got the sunglasses. Those are keys. You know, just a little bit of clutter to make it look like somebody lives here because somebody does live here. Then we have my son, Tyrone. If y'all don't know, I got a cat a while back, a couple of houses ago. Y'all probably never got to meet little Tyrone. He don't do much. He just sleep and sit there all day pretty much. Sometimes he be meowing and purring and I be like, purr. Y'all gotta excuse me. I just be saying stuff. Uh, But yeah, here's like the living the living space, the, the TV area. And then once again, try to keep that brick wall situation going over here. And I didn't really like that. I wanted like, what am I trying to say? I was contemplating putting this little TV back splash board thingy stand on because I wanted the brick to be seen. So I didn't know. I'm currently watching something on BET. Well, I'm not watching it. It's just there for background noise, honestly. And then here's Tyrone's little cat and play area, his little um cat tower and then his litter box. And he be sleeping in there sometimes or he'll just sleep on here or he'll sleep on the couch like he is right now. Or he'll sleep in my bed cuz that's my baby. Like my son can sleep with me. <laughs> And yeah, this is pretty much what the living room is looking like. Oh, let me look this way. Here's like a little picture. I don't want this picture in the living room, but it was the only one that I have until I get some more pictures that I can hang up around here. But I think this was cute. It deserved to be framed. Maybe not just as big. So I don't know how to feel about it, but that's what this little area is looking like. It's cool, right? It's cool, right, y'all? Right, okay. Thank you for validating my feelings. Thank you. All right, right here is our little entry seating area i guess i mean that's what it's called it's like an entrance thingy and you can just sit here take your shoes off or chill run out the door or something i don't know i got the thermostat because you know i like the house to be very cold i was just talking to somebody earlier today about this and how i'm a fan person i love the cold i can't sleep if it's not cold or if there's not a fan running to keep me cool so you know we had to get the thermostat so we could keep the house cool does that make sense, y'all? Anyways, going down the hall, this is a bathroom, but I'm not decorating any of the bathrooms in this house. I think I put a shower or something upstairs, but I quickly stopped because I was like, no way I'm decorating the bathroom. Like, it's just not happening. Um, 
this is like a little guest bedroom it's not really finished but i don't want to put too much in here so it's just a a, a bedroom set from earthy if y'all recognize earthy design i love this bed it's so soft and feminine and pretty and i just love how it looks like it's suede on the back it's so pretty it looks so soft and this is where you'd stay at if you were a guest at my home possibly um and then here's this i think i might add a couple of things up in here because it does look kind of just empty maybe like a little couch situation over here maybe a, a lamp or something because it's just empty it's not much going on in this bedroom but it's a guest bedroom so i don't know uh door let me out okay now we're gonna go upstairs to the main action so boop 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 up the stairs up the stairs all right over here hold on i'm gonna have to change the wind light because it's kind of dark okay this right here i wanted to make like a bar area and i put a number of bars right here and then i deleted them because they just weren't looking right so right now we got this little bar stand right here but there's no drinks on it so i don't know i'm gonna come back maybe put some chairs or something right here and we'll figure it out once again the brick wall to kind of bring in that new york feel but i don't know maybe Maybe it doesn't give New York. Maybe it just gives unfinished home. <laughs> Does that is that what it gives, y'all? I don't know. Let's go to this room first. So this is a guest bedroom as well, you guys. But I wanted it to be kind of like in a twin style, like as if twins lived here. I don't got no kids, y'all. I ain't got no kids yet or whatever. But I love the idea of having twin beds and like a coordinating bedroom so that's what's going on let me go over here first this is the closet area and i didn't feel like putting in the other closets that i usually do because then i would have to put the clothes in individually as well so i just used this closet from earthy even though it kind of looks like a man's closet it's cool it's not so bad i guess it got a, a little bit of girly looking items but they're just very neutral so it is what it is we don't nobody cares about a closet that much but that's what this is and then a little seating area to look yourself in the mirror while you're getting dressed or whatever i want to make this look better because it just looks kind of weird i don't know why it just looks weird to me right here but i'll probably redo it or try to make it look a little bit more girly then we got a little get ready area for me because nobody else lives here but me but <laughs> here's a get ready area i guess makeup and stuff and it doesn't look right i don't like this above it i think i want to change it or just rotate it maybe but i just feel weird about this right here maybe i want the desk to be a little bit longer but i don't know i don't know so this is what it's looking like for now though so give me a little bit of grace now onto the actual bed area I went with the color brown because I kind of wanted the room to be neutral colors, um, like earth tone colors, earth theme. And I need to get more plants to put in here too because I want it to be like a plant sanctuary almost. And there's only a few plants in here. We also got the feathered lamps and shades and stuff. So I got the matching hanging shade. I think this came from Soy, I think. I hope, I got this so long ago, y'all. I got this in 2020, so I don't even, I don't even remember if it's soy or if it's somebody else all of this is from dust bunny literally everything right here is from dust bunny including the meal the beds the, the rug the table stands the lamp these two are from a store that no longer exists so i'm sorry i don't even know what the name of it is those pictures uh once again this little tv set wall thing came from somewhere on the weekend sale plant from dust bunny i'm telling y'all where i got everything from in this room like i didn't say nothing about nothing in any other room i'm sorry i'm sorry just ask if you want to know because i don't know i don't know where everything is from i just put stuff down okay got a little computer area i think this is cute because it's like pre-cluttered i don't have to clutter it too much to make it look realistic i love things like that and then we got some curtains hung up over here i want to put a plant right here probably maybe a lamp possibly and maybe some blinds because every other room in the house has blinds except for those two but okay so the main room in the kitchen has blinds so maybe i might move those blinds from downstairs up here so this room can have blinds too i think adding blinds to windows just kind of gives that homey realistic feel it's not super super modern but it's cute and i like it so that's what this is looking like this room is looking like now we're gonna go down the hallway and i got these little pictures on a shelf in the wall i'm probably gonna try to put like a little seating area right here because it just looks kind of empty like a little what do you call those stools i don't it's not called a stool it's like a bench there we go a bench uh let's go to the bathroom first so y'all can see what little i did do like i said nothing really i put a shower in here she don't even got a toilet to pee in like a shower 
and a sink with some mirrors so that's what this bathroom is looking like very empty and then across the way is of course supposed to be my bedroom but i'm not done with it i don't even know what i want to do with it so i'm not going to worry too much about it i got my little art studio set up right here because i do like to plant paint for real y'all so i thought that that shows showcases a little bit about me in here and then this switch controller tv which is just the avon sx tv and then i just got some switch controllers from marketplace and recolored them so no this tv is not sold together you kind of have to build it up yourself so just in case y'all ask um and then this bed it's not even a bed this is supposed to be like a little bench as well but i stretched it out i unlinked everything and i stretched it out as you can tell and i kind of made it a bed so it kind of looks like a bed but i don't know how to feel about this color i should have changed it to a color that i actually wanted because i don't know if i want this orange does that even look right it kind of reminds me of wizards of waverly place for some reason i don't know what it is just this room reminds me of wizards of waverly place yeah that's pretty much the room i'm gonna figure out something and maybe we'll just decorate it together for a video or something because i don't know girl now we're gonna jump over the ledge because nobody walks downstairs and get back to the main room okay okay so yeah you guys that is pretty much my entire new york city penthouse tour i guess i don't know i'm gonna try not to move y'all because i really do like this and i think it looks really pretty um but if another house comes out and i like it or another apartment comes out and i like it you could probably expect me to test it out okay i'm not gonna lie i'm just one of those people i just want to see what i could do with it how i can make it look homey and the vibes i guess but i do want to stay here for a while because it looks very beautiful i retextured a lot of walls and i think it looks pretty cool it looks pretty new yorky to me i don't know if y'all think it looks new yorky obviously like there's the new york background and whatnot outside but i don't know what do you think let me know in the comments below your thoughts on my new home home and i will get back to you thank you all so much for watching i love y'all so 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 much and i'm gonna see y'all in the next one peace